Hello, and welcome to the Roadrunner tutorial series, where you will be introduced to fundamental concepts that will help you get started with Roadrunner. In this video, we will learn how to get the Roadrunner application launched and look at the layout of the Roadrunner interface. There are many ways to launch the Roadrunner application, but I will do so by double clicking on the desktop shortcut here. If you have previously completed your software activation process, you will arrive at this home screen. Let's start by creating a new scene. A scene is an area that includes objects such as roads, surfaces, and props. It is the main type of file edited in Roadrunner. When opening a new scene, Roadrunner prompts you to select a project to save the scene into. In Roadrunner, a project contains one or more scenes and the assets that are shared by these scenes. Assets include things like road styles, buildings, and props. Let's go ahead and create a new project and create a new empty folder to save all the scenes and assets in. Next, if you have the Roadrunner Asset Library product installed, you can opt to include these additional assets when building your Roadrunner scenes. The library provides hundreds of additional models that you can use to add significant detail to your scene. Here we have a blank Roadrunner canvas, and to begin with, I'm going to load a scene by selecting File, Open Scene. You can see that the project folder we just created now contains folders for assets, exports, project, scenarios, and scenes. Going back into the scene folder, I will load one of the sample scenes that are available with Roadrunner, such as Scenario Basic. The scene loads on the canvas in the middle of the application. If you are using a newer version of Roadrunner, you'll notice several icons on the right corners of the canvas. These icons will help us control the camera and navigate the scene efficiently, and we'll discuss these more in the video on Roadrunner camera controls. Above the canvas, there is a tool strip. The various tools on the tool strip, such as the road plan tool, lane tool, and surface tool, allow us to add to, modify, and customize our scenes. It is important to note that the selected tool determines what parts of the scene you can interact with. For example, with the road plan tool selected, I can select roads, but not surfaces or props. You can always look at the status bar at the bottom of the screen for a quick summary about the selected tool and how to use it. On the bottom left of the canvas, there is the 2D editor, where we can do things like view and modify the elevation profile of roads. Different tools will bring up context-specific functionality on this pane. Moving along the bottom, the library browser pane contains all the assets available for us to construct our scene, such as roads, surfaces, materials, and props. The output pane allows us to view additional information, errors, or warnings during scene building or while importing and exporting scenes. On the right of the canvas, the attributes pane allows us to view and modify the properties of the assets on the scene. On the metadata pane, we can add metadata to describe the elements in a scene. Adding metadata is particularly useful when exporting the scene to the ASAM OpenDrive file format. Thank you for watching.